Greetings, students. Welcome to Social Studies class. I am your teacher, Miss Smith. Today, we will, we will be continuing on the topic regional integration. We will be looking at the roles of businesses in the integration process. In our last video, we looked at what are some of the roles of citizens in the integration process. But before we start, I want to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers and if you are stopping by my channel for the very first time welcome please like and share this video turn on that notification bell that whenever a new video is uploaded you will be notified immediately now you may be wondering what is the integration process the integration process means caribbean countries coming together to achieve peace, stability, and economic success. Every citizen has a role to play in the integration process in order to make it a success. Every citizen, governments, businesses, we all have our role to play. So today we will be specifically focusing on the roles of businesses in the integration process. Now, regional businesses has the potential to create economic linkages. They have the potential to enhance the economic and social conditions of CARICOM nations, right? However, it begs the question, what are the roles of businesses in the integration process? Some of the roles of businesses in the integration process are to provide employment for citizens, to focus on the quality and quantity of goods and services produced, to make use of opportunities for investment, and to improve competitiveness. Now we are going to look at all of these roles individually. Students, ensure that you are taking notes and you are paying keen attention to this topic because it is one of those topics that always um, comes on your social studies examination paper. Now, one of the roles of businesses in the region is to provide employment for citizens. The Caribbean single market makes provision for the free movement of CARICOM nationals in the region. This means that Businesses in the region do not have to only employ local citizens to work in their businesses. They can also expand employment opportunities to citizens in the region. For example, if you are operating a restaurant in Barbados, you are going to need various levels of skilled personnel to work in their business, right? So, Instead of just sending out job vacancies in your community in Barbados or in the country, you could also expand the employment opportunities to regional citizens also. So you're giving regional citizens from different CARICOM states a chance to apply to work in your restaurants in Barbados. And as we said before, this will not be a problem because the CARICOM single market makes provision for the free movement of CARICOM nationals. So you can move, if you're going to apply for the job in the restaurant and you're living in Guyana, you can move to Barbados to work in the restaurant without the hustle and bustle of trying to get a work permit, right? The only thing you need is a CARICOM certificate. Another example is if you are an entertainment promoter, say in St. Vincent, and you are having an event, you could employ artists from all over the Caribbean to perform at your event, right? So that they can also earn an income to meet the needs of their families. And again, the CARICOM single market makes provision for CARICOM nationals to travel to other CARICOM states. Another role of businesses in the integration process is to improve the quality 
and the choices of their products. In order to make the integration process a success, businesses must focus on the quality and quantity of their goods and services so that they can compete on the international market. They have to ensure that their products are affordable, available, and of the highest quality. So even though regional businesses are encouraged to make their goods available for CARICOM citizens, the quality must be of the highest because the world is becoming a global market, right? Citizens can purchase goods and services from the comfort of their homes. And with the help of technology, they can view a variety of goods and services from a variety of businesses all over the world. So what can businesses do to ensure that their quality and choices of their products are what CARICOM nationals want? The answer is simple. They have to advertise, advertise and promote their businesses regionally, right? Ensure that CARICOM nationals can afford their products, ensure that they are available and also ensure that it is of the highest quality. Another role of businesses in the integration process is to make use of opportunities for investment. Entrepreneurs must make use of the opportunities for investment in their region. The Caribbean single market makes provision for free movement of people, business, and capital. So if you are blessed financially or have an interest in becoming an entrepreneur, but maybe you do not really have the time to run a business, you could invest in the in regional businesses, right? Maybe in your friend's shoes company, maybe in a car rental business in Dominica, maybe in the banking sector in Jamaica. However, the thing is that when you invest your finance in a business, it is with the hope that in the future your investment will grow. Right. Also, in investing in a business regionally, you can also choose to become a shareholder. The bottom line is opportunities are there for entrepreneurs to invest their finance, not in an international business, but a regional business. You do not have to worry that you cannot travel with large amount of fine, large amount of cash. You do not have to worry that you cannot travel frequently to check on the business to ensure that it is running smoothly. The Caribbean single market makes provision for the free movement of people, business, and capital. Another role of businesses in the integration process is to improve competitiveness. Now, what do we mean by competitiveness? Competitiveness refers to the factors that allows a business to produce goods that are better and more cheaply than its competitors. So while regional governments can introduce policies that are favorable to businesses, to business operators, it is the responsibility of business owners to ensure that their goods or services are more desirable to regional customers and that of their competitors on the international market. Also, they have to maintain competitiveness in the market. Regional businesses have to ensure also that their products, very important, that their products are unique, of higher quality, affordable than those of their competitors. So it begs the question, how can businesses improve competitiveness in the market? The answer is simple. They have to ensure that productivity is high and that they are producing quality goods and services at an affordable price. This will increase their competitiveness in the market, right? For example, if you should go on any international market sites on your, on your computer, for example, Amazon, you'll realize that there are a variety of goods to choose from. And most of the times these goods are of good qualities and they are affordable. So these are just some of the roles of businesses, regional businesses in the integration process.
Our next video will be on the role of government in the integration process. So I hope you have turned on your notification bell that you'll be able to receive a notification when that video is uploaded.